<laughs> I'm sorry, I'm starting this video with coughing, but <coughs> God damn it. So, Fable, did you watch Star Wars Out or play Star Wars Outlaws at all? No. That's I good. know how bad it is. I, I saw how bad it is. I it's a Ubisoft game, so I wasn't gonna bother playing it. Most of their games come out barely working as is. Yeah, I also know the fact that Job of the Fat helps you, and it's just like, you're literally no name smuggler. Why? Why is he helping you? He could care less about you. It's Why? It's kind of hilarious because, yeah, Job of the Hutt doesn't care about really anyone. He's quite literally a crime boss. Yeah, he's a really smart, dangerous crime boss. Why is he helping a no a no name loser like you? Why? It's like, the Hutt clan I mean, have been around know. for a long time, even longer than, well, they bit, they survived the death of the Republic, so that says something. Yeah, and the thing is, again, I know I'm being rude by saying a no-name loser, but it's true, your character literally doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things, but yet somehow Jabba's less like, I'm gonna save you. Why? Why? That's oh. so freaking out of character, it bothers me. It's it's just so silly because it's Jabba of all people. Uh -huh. But yeah, I uh, yeah, Star Wars has kind of gone ever since Disney bought Star Wars. It's kind of gone down the hole of not being good because here's the problem with Disney: they milk every single every single property they get. They milk it to death. Yes, and like. Like someone bothering me. Uh, can I say with one thing before? Uh, yeah, one yeah, thing yeah. that someone made me realize is that while Star Wars games have always been like around, up and down and whatnot, for movies we always got like a long period of wait time between them. Yeah. Where we could, you know, get a reprieve. But the problem with Disney is they love to try and squeeze every little bit of money as fast as I can which is their biggest problem they've always done this I mean look at Marvel they after the after the end of Endgame it pretty much just fell down the stairs anyway yeah. go ahead Fable so I just want to say this um, if, you're, if you guys disagree with my opinion that's completely fine that's all your power to you the thing I hate about new uh, new Star Wars is the fact that, for one, uh, Kathleen Kennedy, the current president of uh, of Lucasfilms, is literally trying really hard to push the agenda slash message that we need strong female characters. And yeah, that's cool and all, but make your character an actual character. It's kind of like, funny. Give them a personality, an actual. Give them flaws. Give them anything. Don't make them seem like they're the like the second coming of Jesus, please. We don't want that. We want relatable characters. I don't care if they're men, women, or in between. I just want them to be of character. We want depth of character. Every single, yeah. even like from side swords and whatnot. Anakin got depth in Clone Wars. Obi Wan Kenobi got depth in there. It, it's just how should I put this? They want to show them as ideal and nothing else. Hello, crawling abyss. How are you? Yeah, I just, I just want a character to feel alive. I just want them to be a person. If they make mistakes, then let them, because I, they're a person. No one's perfect. Yeah, like I said before, it's okay to have a strong woman character like Leia. She made mistakes. She got captured at one point, and yet she was still a strong character. It's like, let yeah. them love. Let them be angry. Let them get upset. Let them be wrong. Let them get hurt. Let them crawl back from getting beat to near death. But for the love of God, whatever you do, do not make them boring. Yes, and also, please, please, for the love of God, if we have another Kylo Ren, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna cry and yell at someone because he was one of the most basic bad guys ever. He had no motivation. He had no scariness to him. He just existed. Why? I will say one Why did he exist? Uh, me and Fable have been watching Kaunara Gaivu over on the Patreon, and yeah, we've both been having fun with it. Uh, I'm done, Chuck. I mean, people are you know, on X because one character like the male character it tells you how far we've come. Yeah, this is why I stay away from there only to promote my stuff or to 
help a friend. That's all I do over on uh, Twitter. I'm not calling it X because X is a dumb name. <laughs> yeah, all I do on all I do on Twitter is literally uh, literally talk to friends, right? Make random jokes to people that don't get my humor and then cry. <laughs> At least I get your humor. Yeah. Also, yeah, we've been having fun with Kamen Rider Gaivu. Uh, Fable's been really liking the marshmallow form. I think it's really silly, and I absolutely love the fact that, well, it's literally just a silly power. It's not even that strong. It doesn't even make sense either, but it's hilarious, and I love it. All the powers are kind of interesting. Anyway, we should probably watch uh -huh. the videos. We're already f about six minutes in. Only six minutes. I'm gonna go on another rant for about twenty minutes. Rada 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 rada. Rada 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 rada. Rebel rebel. But if you guys like hearing our opinions, you can hear more about it. I guess over here when I'm streaming. Like we we like to talk about 4K. We like to talk about everything really. Rada rada rada. Like, I really like the new Netflix series that I need to get back to watching of the X Men continuation. Fable's just rada rotting, but yeah. Later this month, and it's already marked for death. Some people are roasting yeah. it, some people are praising it, but personally, quite frankly, I'm appalled. Appalled that they mm. would allegedly pay off all these creators and not me? I'm not good enough <laughs> to be flown out to Ubisoft Island? <laughs> you know what? Screw you and your trip. Yeah, that is the problem of uh, nowadays. You can't really trust journalists for uh, most gaming sites because they're usually getting paid also by the game industry. Yeah. yeah, it's a uh, it's a huge problem because, you know, you're supposed to be unbiased and give people because here's the thing. They're spending your money based off of what you say. You have to give them an actual factual review, which is something I want to do. I want to be a game reviewer, which I'm going to try with one review that's coming in another review that's coming anyway. To Disneyland. I didn't want to sweat my balls off standing in line to get a picture with Mr. Minnie Mouse anyway. Game oh. has become lame as hell, pimp. Not even the bribes are as good as they used to be. And speaking of lame, we have. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Disney also treats their workers horrible. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they do. A lot of, sadly, a lot of major companies do. And Amazon, yeah. for instance, is one of the most notorious ones, uh, sadly. Yeah. Watch train wreck. How about the cast? I will hop in if I can assist for the Patreon. Only if you can afford it, Petra. Don't feel need to. I want to say this to everyone. Don't feel the need to. I will survive somehow. But I don't want you guys to feel the need to do it. You should give me money, though. I, 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 don't, I don't care for any of your financial needs. I'm kidding. Right. I'm actually right, joking. Right, Please right. don't actually take what I say for real, though. So. Very have great value, Lilo and Stitch. Starting with the AI. Gameplay for Star Wars Outlaws mm. and Assassin's Creed Shadows was not only praised but also I kind of the cutting edge capability. That's a lie. Of our game engine. That's a lie. This is what happens when you don't put games in the oven and are just shipping them out, so that you hit your so that you hit your quota or hit the quarter. Ubisoft AI are very often touched with the. I haven't seen much of Ghost of Yato, but the Ghost of Yato though looks actually really good, surprisingly. I have not really seen all that much about it, so I can't really give my opinion on it. I hope it's good because I really like Ghost of Tsushima. Yeah. I love playing Gen Sekai. I'll admit I can't play the game again because I did it for a 24 hour stream and that's the only game I played for 24 hours. So I can't, it, it just fills me with a bit of rage playing it again because I'm like, I played this game for 24 hours while being awake on only like three cups of coffee. Uh, so here's the thing, Petra. Asmongold's not a person. They're in existence. They should not be listened to. Asmongold has some points, but he also is, uh... I'm surprised the man's still alive. Yeah, I got a video for you. What's the video? We'll watch tism, after this. Tism, but now they are fully engulfed by the tism. Their chromosomes are under sea. Everything what? they do is 10 seconds too late and comes at half the speed. The yeah, that's the reason I don't play Ubisoft games, because I remember playing one Assassin's Creed game where I, act, where I went into a bush, then fell through the world. Yeah. Several times. Oh, and there's also this one time where 
I couldn't see any of the characters in a cutscene, and the audio was off. The only thing I could see is floating objects. Closer to you, then they reach for their so secondary. that I just stop playing the game. Them to draw their secondary that it's too late. Because Macho Man Randy Savage already bubbled them up. Why is he Macho like Man now? The blaster battles oh. felt like they had meaningful stakes. Thanks, IGN. What about this? I do find it funny that they tried to say it while playing that gameplay. Does this look like the blaster battles have stakes, PC gamer? Jesus Christ! It looks like I caught you at a bad time. I'll come back later. These AI. Why did they put that? as an article who would want that trapped in the one space game without busty alien women or a second space game without busty alien women and that oh my god my next right budget cuts hot alien women are a cornerstone of space entertainment the pillars if you will why else would we reach for the store wait you didn't show tally why didn't you show tally that's very important okay what is the thing oh dear god what are you showing me hi my we weren't damn sure that there were three breasted women on the other side. You ever think of that? Oh, just oh yeah, that was from to Total Recall. Top cocktail just so I could see a regular old set of two. And another thing, I don't want to hear that face scanning is hard excuse either. They scanned in that ginger from Shameless Pixel Perfect. Wow, they oh, actually and did. Came time to scan this actress's face in. All of a sudden, we're using the NBA 2K face scan. Oh, I what the hell is that? Of our game engine. Don't even get me started on that. People are puppet. just tired of the BS that Ubisoft has done. It's also the fact that when it came to the Outlaws game, Ubisoft literally said for about a hundred plus dollars, you could, like they basically gave you the chance for one, for a mission about Java, and everyone's just like, no thank you. And they're like, wait, why don't you guys want to play a hundred something dollars for one single mission or a couple missions that actually don't matter that much? Also, the main, it's also another ridiculous. reason, Petra, that people are angry at Ubisoft for the Assassin's Creed Shadow game is they're using a symbol of the Oda clan, which I did not know they're still around and you need uh, to actually have the rights to do that. Also, because of that half Toki shrine thing, which is a symbol, if you didn't know, of the nuclear bomb that went off, okay. I believe, in Nagasaki. I could be wrong. Fucking knock off stitch that little counterfeit i could talk Oof. about this for the next 20 minutes but this this game's like fitting six pounds it's... of shit into a three pound bag all right so ubisoft games just moving. aren't good anymore crap, though, let's... basically ubisoft has lost all of their reputation which if you didn't know in the entertainment industry reputation is the most important thing you can have i know it's even after stream well, we'll see you in a minute, I might. Somehow this looks worse than Starfield. Save me, Todd Rip, Howard. Like... This looks stiff as hell. Save me, Todd Howard. Stiffer oh than all me. Saturday at 7 p.m. EST as I live stream Dead or Alive Beach Volleyball. <laughs> Ubisoft's new slogan should be Ubisoft. We'll show you that it can get worse. Look, we oh, even made our yeah. logo worse. Save yeah, they kind of did. Howard. Speaking of things getting worse, this game is chock full of bullet sponges. Look at this. It takes four body shots to kill an enemy, and that's not just on the stormtroopers. You go shoot a guy wearing cloth and he'll tank three shots to the chest fuck you fuck your oh. lasers my boy was wearing a cardigan but now that's soft like punch to the face and it's game over and i can live with that in a game where you have yeah. two other primaries that actually they just put damage. out slap outlaws, nowadays this is the only permanent weapon you get and every other gun is just a pickup that comes with one mag I like the cooking edge, of our game engine. and guess what I yeah no one's on your side about you stuff your bottom, bitch. That better uh be you'll be soft and not a slow ass basic blaster that shoots 10 seconds a disappointment then needs to cool down and it's too close to home it's very clear that they mm. want you to stealth but then look at these takedowns these have the speed and form of a chunky 70 year old steven seagal <laughs> look at that fat roll right <laughs> for those who don't know steven seagal uh i think he's a fake black belt that always talks about how great he is and there's that one time where he said no one could choke me out until a stunt coordinator tried to and then he tried to punch the guy in the balls so he held him so hard that he passed out. It's also the fact that I believe the uh, CEO of Ubisoft or something well, literally yeah. said <clears throat> gamers should get used to not owning stuff. It's just like, all right, listen. Well, I'm getting used to Ubisoft. not owning their games. I feel pretty good, don't you, Fable? Yeah, I, I don't really buy Ubisoft games anymore. They kind of suck. Yeah, that's the main reason. When as soon as you see, oh, that Ubisoft logo is probably going to suck. 
right there. It's like they tore Seagull away from an Eastern European brothel to do the mocap. It's kind of hard to describe, but they just kind of have that same look of a half-assed hit met with a stuntman. That's well, there's no flavor. There's no life in Many them. Many people are calling these the worst takedowns Ubisoft's ever done, but don't be dramatic, all right? Show a little respect. If you had seen the Kavera takedowns from Wildlands, then you would know that these oh are my God, that is terrible. the second worst takedowns that Ubisoft has ever done. Look at these Popeye punches. She reaches back Oof. into the prehistoric era to wind these things up. And in some of these takedowns, they go full golem and forget the punch what? sound effect. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> they have her doing space marine takedowns just without the flood of blood that makes it look like they just killed See, the there's love in that. There's gory and beautiful love in that space marine game. Yeah. But Holy not man. here. Why the hell am I still here talking about this? I should be edging to Space Marine. Two That's what I've been right doing. Now. Speaking of getting pounded, let's talk about the reputation system. Well, I'm about to make a name for myself here. The oh my God! They used that. This game looks like a ball of yarn. It's just something to keep you busy. The Hut give Clan. You the illusion that your choices matter, but in reality, nothing you do has major consequences. Don't believe my vision? Don't trust the foresight and foreskin of the mighty Seven-Eyed Fleet? Well, I started oh, reading man. words recently, so check out some random reading shit I words. found in an article. Ubisoft has already. Confirmed my visions. Read it and wait. Over 10 years ago in Dragon Age Origins, you could accidentally erase an entire group of people because you button mashed through a cutscene. Here, your negative record. That, that is actually true. Dragon Age Origins has a lot more consequences to your actions. She makes it so you can't freely walk through cities during some main missions without oh getting my God. caught. What happens when you get caught you get escorted out to the front gate nope you can't shoot them you're wow. in a city and from everything i've heard you can't pull your gun out in cities and in fact the stormtroopers will arrest you for being annoying i like oh. the cutting edge capabilities of our game engine this truly is the second coming of golem cool notoriety system though mm. but if i can't shoot civilians pull out my gun in cities or steal civilian vehicles how the hell am i supposed to trigger it i can't yeah that is kind of weird how you can't really be an outlaw in this Star Wars Outlaw game. Yeah, it's really stupid. I, I don't know what else to say about that. What else can I say but that the name of the game is a lie? Uh, what, what? I'm like trying to, I'm like, I'm at a loss for words. Like to find out. Ubisoft, you beautiful Bukakia slop. Even though Outlaws looks uh, like the Assassin's exclusive Creed rights licking, that I do have. Out some bullshit as fast as you could. I'm willing to leave all that behind. Star Wars Bounty Hunters <laughs> makes low, sense. Low but funny enough, there is a Star Wars Bounty Hunters game. $10, which is a lot more fun than this one. I played it. I unburdened by what has yeah. been. I can find 10, it's where you play as Jango Fett. Going through some parts of the second movie with that, that we didn't see. I to love this game for that kind of money in my honest opinion of course i promise you when they give me that ten thousand dollars and i schedule the next ten thousand dollars i'll tell them buddy no I, no I want that all in quarters i'm going straight to the <laughs> joint after this i'm gonna make it hail up in there i'll tell them <laughs> here buddy the truth can't inspire it. i'm only i don't know if that to going got me contract that i'm allowed to make to tell the whole truth and nothing but the truth make those dollar bills uh, it's gonna travel light here's a little <laughs> sample of what you can expect you ready look at that grass sway God, that is some good grass. While we're looking at this amazing God, grass, grass, I want to offer my unreal. utmost honesty for the low price of ten thousand dollars to the following God, games: that grass Assassin's too Creed unreal. Shadows, love me some shadows. Fuck history, I've always God, that said grass that. World of Tanks, War of Thunder, Naraka Blade Point. Whoa, did you see that? That grass just swayed. Raid Shadow Legends, the new Dragon God, that Age. Grass well, just too too un Assassin, if it wasn't made by you, well, yeah, everyone would probably be saying, "Oh, this is a cool." Here's the thing: people would not have investigated as much as they did. If it wasn't a Ubisoft game, if it was just a game quite literally about Ninja and Yasuke, we would not have as much investigation as we did because Ubisoft put out some bad shit and people were looking at, okay, I'm going to type this up. Let's see just how bad they did this time. Yeah. Because we don't trust them. We just don't for good reason. Yeah, we can't. They've, uh, they've they've shown that they can't be trusted, and their CEO is a total monster slash creep. Yeah, they they've shown that the people cannot trust them, and when you've shown that, that proves how bad your reputation is. Like, mm -hmm. look at what Valve did. They released a hero shooter, and everyone's going, "Yay, this looks really cool." You didn't see an ounce of people trying to say, "Well, I don't know," because it's Valve. 
We know they put yeah, out quality and, stuff. And one cool thing about the hero shooter they made is apparently uh, they basically took action against cheaters that literally either gives you the opportunity to kick them out of the game, which will restart the game, or turn them into frogs, and they'll stay as frogs till the end of the game. Which I find which is that like, hilarious. So, that is hilarious, because I'm pretty sure everyone chooses frog to mess with the cheater, because the cheater will get, still get banned. It's not. It's like it's a super punishment, essentially. They have to suffer being a frog for the uh, entire game just to know that they're going to get banned at the end. Why am I? Why would you hurt me? Anyway, thank you all so much, and we'll see you later.